No, I think I do have a fish. He's just coming towards me. Oh yeah, there we go. I got a fish. All right, folks, welcome to another episode of Midwest River Rat. We're out on Lake Wasoda, well, the Yellow River dumping into Lake Wasoda. Every weekend that I come out here, we catch small fish, and then every weekend that I don't come out here, James sends me uh, big picture, pictures of big fish. So I figure if I put in the time, eventually I gotta get one. We got some uh, bluegill that I've been fishing for out here all morning. Uh, he's in his boat, and I'm on my kayak because I want a big flathead on my kayak. So we'll be out here, it's about, about eight o'clock and we'll be out here pretty late. Hopefully we can get a bunch of fish or a big huge monster. Oh joy, darn jet skiers. All right, we picked a spot. I've seen James pull a 30 pounder out of here. I got my personal best, an old personal best channel out of here that same night. And I got me a gill and an eight dot circle hook. All right, I cut his tail and the top of his fins a little bit. And then I got this float that'll keep him about a foot above the weights that sit on the bottom. So I started getting more strikes when I started floating my baits off the bottom instead of just sitting them on the bottom because the bluegill wants to find cover. So if you lay them right on the bottom, then they're just gonna find cover or lay down. Whereas if you have them floating above your weight, then they're always up there and they can't pull that float down. So they're always pissed off trying to swim to cover and they're not gonna stop moving like if you just lay them on the bottom. There goes nothing. Oh, open the bale, huh? That might be a good thing. Generally is. Ain't very deep right there. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh no. Now when you hook a gill, hook it at an angle on the top. Instead of straight through, hook angle it that way so that it the hook it's harder for the hook to twist around and double hook itself. There's a little more depth on that spot. We got our first fish. Is it on? It is on. First cat of the night. We've been out here, what, almost an hour? Yep. Flatty? Channel. Channel. We got a little channel. That is the biggest catfish I've seen all year. The ones we're looking for will eat that guy. Well, catfish are in here. Yeah, they're feeding. Oh. We got one catfish. Was that on liver? Yep. Oh, I guess that was on liver. You so. can always count on liver to work. No bites on the live gills yet. But we're hoping. We got war zone going on around us, but that's okay because I fished in a war zone at the NSP Dam last 4th of July. I'm getting hit by a wake, so you guys are going to be all shaky. But I guess I'm on a GoPro, so it won't be too bad. Another chicken liver fish? Yeah, another chicker. It's a twin. A little bigger than the other one, huh? Hey, calm down, dude. Fish number two. Fish number two. He going back in the I'm pond? I'm sad. I mean, they probably got motors. That, that guy's, oh, there goes your tea. Yeah, and it, it always dropped my tea this time of year. I think I, that was a bite. Dang it, he didn't keep going. That rod bent over. It almost made it click, but then he let go. Or is it on there? No, it's not. Darn it. Saw my rod bend over. He did, barely pulled the clicker. Obviously it's dark out now. So I guess we'll have to keep waiting. All right, we moved spots. James is getting a bite. First bite since we moved. This is a sucker. Yeah, 
Okay, so we got a sucker bite instead of a, a nine inch sucker. chicken liver, instead of chicken liver this time. All right, well, that came to nothing, but we pulled in the sucker and you can tell it definitely got sucked on by a catfish. We just got here, so another spot James said is pretty good, so hopefully we get some more bites and they actually hook up. I got, is that the bluegill pulling or fish? I just got whacked. I think it was this one. I don't think that's the bluegill. Wait, there? Yeah. No, this, look at my spool. That's not the bluegill. That is not the bluegill. All right, we got something pulling my... Yep, I'm gonna take him. A lot? Oh, is that just the bluegill? No, I think I do have a fish. He's just coming towards me. Oh yeah, there we go. I got a fish. I'm all, my weights were all knotted up. That's why. Oh, you got a fish. You got a big catfish. You got a big I'm telling you what you got right now. You're gonna crap your pants, my friend. You got a huge Look at this rod. It's going straight down to the bottom. Oh, there we go. He, yep. I loosened up the drag a little. You got a big old flatty, my friend. Good 30 pounder, I bet you. Yes. Is he still fighting? I can't do anything for you. That's what sucks. I just gotta take it. I haven't even seen him yet. As you can tell, it's a big flight. Oh yeah. Dragging the boat, my friend. I told you. You just wait until. Oh jeez, he didn't okay. like that. It's a big boy. Oh no. <laughs> it's a big boy. I promised you a big flathead. <sighs> what I'm gonna try to do? That's a big one. I'll just grab that him. That is a huge. Flat. I'm just gonna grab him, dude. Grab him. I would not grab him. Hey, James. I'm gonna grab my flathead. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I see. Okay. That is what I'm talking about, dude. Whoa! There's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Look at that. You have a scale? Yes, that is what I'm talking about. I guarantee that thing's at least 30 something pounds. Oh, live oh, yeah. gill. Friends, this is about the size of my 25 pounder. He swallowed it too. Okay, I can see it. The bluegill just flopped in his throat. I can't even see the bluegill. Okay, I got it. You gotta get it. <clears throat> I just want to hug it. <laughs> want to find out how much it weighs? Yes. 26.10. What? I told you, dude. I beat my personal best, though. Yeah, you did. 26.10, huh? All right. Show you guys one more time. 26-pound flathead off the kayak. Now, we're gonna let him go. That is a beautiful fish. Yes, it is. And they're a lot bigger in here than that. Make sure he's healthy. He wants to go, but I'm gonna make sure. No good by slap. Oh, He's slap. too tired. Woo! That was freaking sweet. That's your first one off the kayak. Yup. First flatty. And she was a beauty. That was awesome. I don't even really know what to say. It was just, it's a flathead off a kayak. Like, 
What do you What do you really have to say? <laughs> I don't know. That was freaking sweet. Like my night is made. So the only way to go is up now. Yeah, it's time to retire that one. Is your line real close to the boat? Yeah. I got another fish. Dude. <laughs> you got another big flat. And I, you got a, see, that's what I'm talking about. You never know what's going to happen. Because I cast this one way over hey, there. I think you have it in the anchor. Really? I think you do. Just pull the anchor up. We got a mess. Nothing on it. No, there ain't, is there? Oh. There must have been something on it, because I cast that one. I think this one was out there. And it was like way over here. Yeah, this guy's been chomped on. Well, he swam the wrong way, so we didn't know this one was getting bit. I think I'm just going to cast that one that's suspended. Oh, yeah, that one. Do you? Oh, yeah, it's a pleasure. He's running with the dragon. You have a fish? Yeah, I'm running with the dragon. What is he still taking line? Oh, you do have him. You do have him. Oh, years. Hopefully, he ain't huge. Fish number four. It's a nice one, ain't it? Oh, he's gonna take off. I need to get baits back in the water. Flatty. <laughs> he ain't that big, folks. It's a flathead, though. Yeah, it is. Better than tiny channels. He took that whole sucker, too. You got a little 15 pounder? This is where I should use gloves. There we go. Here we go. We found the flatheads. Yeah. We only had to move one time. You see your hook? That's nuts. Can you see your hook? Yeah, I just gotta get it out. Want me to reach down there? Yeah, you might have to. That's my smallest flathead of the year. There's one. Nice little fish, but we gotta do some surgery on him. Okay, let me see. That sucker's just chilling. Right inside there. Alright, let's grab your sucker out first. Get it out of the way. That's how big of a sucker, folks. That'll be used later, maybe. It's there, but he keeps sucking it back in. Alrighty, there. Got the hook out. We'll let him go right here. There he goes. All right, I need to get baits in the water yep. and change batteries on the GoPro. Well, we both got a flathead tonight. Yes, we did. Awesome. It is 11.54. We started fishing, what, about eight, I think. We moved up the river further. So, we found the flatheads, got two of them. So far, it's a successful night. Let's uh, get the baits back out there and catch some more. All right, well, we got, James got three more bites, and they were pretty good hits, but nothing hooked up. Um, it's about 1.30, I think. Uh, thanks for watching. I was really excited to get that flathead on my kayak, finally. I'm probably going to be coming out here a few more times this summer and try to get bigger ones on the kayak, but I am extremely happy. Appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, I'd really, really appreciate it if you did, if you enjoy watching my videos and want to continue to see them. I will catch you all on the next episode. Peace.